So this is a video for Garden Home Brush Up Your Tap on Tuesday, July 16th, 2019. First, I want to talk about our flap heel heel combination. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about flap heel walking and running flaps. Then we'll talk about the... Um, Oh, that's pretty much all I need to tell you because everything else is on last week's video. So if you want to do the difficult combination, the one that goes that one, go to last week's video. If you want to look at Winter Wonderland, go to last week's video because we didn't add anything on to either of those combinations. But I want to review flap heel heels here because they're very important. So first of all, when you're doing flat heel walking, remember that you want to put some pressure on your foot. Try not to stay back here like this, because that's harder. And you want to pick your foot up before you do a flap or a shuffle. Try not to, you shouldn't go from here, because you get that scraping sound. You want a nice, you lift, get your foot in this flex position, brush, stick it, heel, brush, stick it, heel. Okay, so nice crisp sounds. As you get better at them, you can make smaller steps, smaller flaps, and go faster. that okay flap running is like jogging so jog jog when you jog in place it's just like that except for you do a brush first brush jog so it's good to practice your running flaps in place jog 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 brush jog and then, once you're comfortable with that, try to travel with it. And then as you get faster, again, you can make smaller steps, shrink it down. And move your feet less. Let your knees be bouncy and bend a lot. Don't get stiff and don't do the can-can. <laughs> Beginners tend to lean back. We don't want to lean back. We want to stay over our toes. That's why I want you to think of jogging. Okay? So, let's work on our flap heel heel combination now. So, let's start. We'll start with our left foot this time. Lift. So, left, left, right. So, left, left, right. Left, right, step, go left, right, left. Now we're going to be like a choo-choo train and get faster and faster. Just like that. You might have noticed I missed a couple of sounds once I start going faster. So you want to try to get all your sounds in eventually. Here's what it looks like from the front.
having trouble going super fast, just slow it back down and make sure you pick your foot up on the and. And. Let's see, if we were to count it. And. Eight. Oh, I guess I'm picking my foot up on eight. So if you think of five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, seven, eight. So don't stay there. You always got to pick your foot up and get ready to do the next thing. So if you have to go slow, eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, until you get the hang of always picking your foot up right there before you start, go ahead and slow it way back down and then gradually speed back up. So again, if you want to practice Winter Wonderland, soft shoe, or the other combination, the happy tappy combination, look back at last week's video and the week before that and you can find those combinations there. See you next week. Happy tappy!